So Todd Munkin is the new offensive coordinator of the Baltimore Ravens. Munkin. Hey, man, this is uh, – we're all assuming the Ravens are just going to run the same offense. A fullback, 15 tight ends, yeah, no. and, and, and Lamar doing nothing but running and then struggling to find someone in an end zone who plays wide receiver. Okay? Uh, no like, that's literally what people are assuming right now. And if anybody's followed his career and saw what was going on with Georgia, that ain't what they did in Georgia. So what is this, you know, offense going to look like? And all the Ravens fans that have been just like, get Greg Roman out of here. Like, thank you for taking us out of the Flacco era and putting us in the LJ era in the middle of a season. Thank you for that. Thank you for his MVP season. Thank you for that. But the last couple of years have just been paint drying type stuff. And that's a, a massive generalization because let's not forget how that Ravens-Dolphins game looked until the very end of that game, right? Mm, yeah. At any rate, what's this offense going to look like? Well, we already know he's not giving anything away, but the install is happening right now. And one thing that he's pointing out is to the players that have been brought in, Odell being one, Zay Flowers being another, as an indication of what this might look like. I don't want to say this. Again, I think it goes back to the players that you have. I think the more talented you are um, around your quarterback, the less he has to burden, uh, take on that burden, shoulder the load, because you're excited about getting others the football where they can uh, utilize their skill set. So I think, uh, I think that kind of answers itself. You know, I think that as you get further into your career, you know, as Lamar gets older, as everybody does. I mean, you know, you know, you want to, you want to take some of that off of the player as best as you can. But he has a unique trait, a unique skill set. You can't take that completely out of his toolbox because that's a huge weapon for him and for us. He's using his feet. I don't think he runs as much next year. I think he runs when um, he might be out of options on his routes that when, are being run. I imagine. Not the same player, obviously, but Tom Monken did coach Stetson Bennett last year. Stetson Bennett had 4,100 yards and 27 touchdowns. Do you think Lamar reaches those numbers? Yes. No, I mean, 6,000 yards? No. no. Uh, but 4,100 yards. 27 touchdown yes. passes. Lamar has I only topped that one time in his, his MVP, MVP year. I, I don't think there's a... Uh... But in that MVP year, he only had 3,100 passing yards. Dude, if the running game... I'm telling you, J.K. Dobbins can help take some of the running off the plate. But they've he got, wants big, to. They've I got told receivers, you, though, now. I told you what he told us on that week 15. I keep going back to those meetings that we had prior right. to Ravens and Browns because a lot of that was them telling us how they expected Lamar to come back, and then he never did. Dobbins is like, I've never had 15 touches in a game, meaning ball in his belly 15 times a game. He's never had it. And he's like, it's time. And he's, you know, saying that the, you know, his conditioning wasn't maybe up to snuff. And sure enough, in that game in Cleveland, he burst through the line. He got caught from behind. Mm -hmm. All I'm saying is he can take some of the load off. And then you got Mark Andrews. He's going to be focused on like good you try and take him out and you got Odell there and Zay Flowers and and Rashad Bateman it's going to be different it's going to be different they still got Gus Edwards too right yeah so oh yeah oh yeah and Roquan I told you what Calais Campbell told me Quan Rich as he told you that's that's our buddy that's Quan he told me that Roquan or Quan had been calling out (laughs) The oh, opponent's man. plays, you know, before because the of the study and his, his knowledge and whatever, pre-snap, and he was wrong at that point in time only once. So, I'm high on it. It's just, it's got to, it's, it's Lamar's world. He's now been paid. He's got to be active. He's got to be healthy. He's got to be available. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. But that's another big mystery is what that team's going to look like and all of that good stuff. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.